What's going on guys? Jacob Borth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas and today we're going to take you guys through a walkthrough of a home here in Henderson. Another popular place. Vegas is awesome but a lot of people love Henderson too. And I'm joined again by Lacey. It's really bright, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and actually she's going to be the one taking us through this model home here in Henderson. I'm just going to get to really play like camera guy so I kind of get to chill out while she goes ahead and shows us around through the homes. I've done home tours before but she's going to take the lead on this one, okay? Ooh, here we go. Alrighty. All right. So I'm walking you through one of my favorite models here in Henderson. This builder is known for um, just building gorgeous stuff. So today we're walking through a 3,300 square foot house. It's currently set up with four beds and three and a half baths, but you actually have the option to add on a fifth bedroom. So let's just give a pan of the room so you can see kind of how awesome this is. So this builder basically um, designed these homes with Bobby Burke from Queer Eye, Queer Eye, I guess it's just Queer Eye now, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy on Netflix, really great show. He came in and helped really decorate it and make it look amazing. When people are buying new homes, they're often fooled a little bit when it comes mm -hmm. to the models because they walk in and they look like this, right? So they go, well, I wanna buy that house and that's great, but it's not gonna look like this. You have to build <laughs> it to look like this. So I always try to caution people just to make sure that they know what they're getting into. So this is the area that is a den or it could also be turned into a fifth bedroom. You got a little powder room in here. And as you can see, uh, wallpaper is back in. So I don't know if you knew that, Jacob, but wallpaper is back uh -huh. in. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like we're returning to the 1980s, although it's very cool looking. I just get a little bit concerned about uh, when it goes out of style again. Cool. So things to know when you're buying a new home is when they communicate a price point, it's a base price. That's how the pricing starts. That's basically for the shell of a house. Some things are included, every builder is different. It's important to have a real estate person who knows the builder and knows what they do and what they don't do so that you know going in kind of what you're gonna spend. Floors are typically, um, they offer like a standard floor, which is usually pretty good. These are very upgraded. These are very expensive floors. Because they of course wanna sell the house and make it look as beautiful as possible. And I've always asked these um, the model home builders, I say, why do you guys over upgrade these? Why do you make them so kind of feel like they're out of reach? And a lot of them say, well, we want to help you with your imagination. <laughs> I'm like, okay. But anyway, um, so when you come in here, really open layout is really popular right now in Vegas. Um, some people come moving from the East Coast either like it or don't. I've had both. Uh -huh. Like they, they don't understand why we don't have a formal dining room and why we don't have a formal living room and there's not walls cut, cutting up, uh, cutting everything off. Honestly, in, in Vegas, this is the style. This is how it's rolling and, and we're just going to keep moving. Yes. Um, open, big open kitchens are really popular. Big islands are very popular. And a lot of this overhead exhaust, everything like this is the most modern you're going to get right now for Las Vegas. And I love it. I love this house so much. <laughs> Another really popular thing, not that you care, but I'm going to tell you, <laughs> upper cabinets are white, lower cabinets are brown. So a lot of people are mixing and matching the cabinets, which is um, kind of a new thing. Something else people don't know is when you buy a new home, depending on the builder, they may or may not include the appliances. Mm -hmm. So if they do, awesome, it's a, it's a bonus to you. Most of the time they're gonna include the, the oven, stove range, and fridge, and then dishwasher, but they don't always include washer dryer and some hmm. of the other stuff. So you gotta be pay attention. Look at this big old pantry, you have to show that. Yeah. So, like who needs, I would like to organize my food to look like that. It looks like it's on <laughs> HGTV. It's beautiful. So this house, like I said, it's 3,300 square feet. It's four bedrooms currently, which we're gonna walk upstairs and look. Three and a half baths. There's a lounge upstairs, <laughs> which we'll take a look at. It's a loft. I don't know why they're calling it a lounge. Mm -hmm. What's around this corner? Oh, it's a cute little entrance to the garage. Yep. But everything's, like, look at how nicely they designed it. Yeah. Um, and then I'm sure they're gonna ask what the price of this home is. So we're gonna save that for the end. Okay. Uh, and again, it's a starting price. So let's keep that in mind. Another thing that's really popular right now is these faux stone brick walls. Brick walls. It's cool, but again, when it goes out of, when it goes out, I don't know <laughs> what we're going to do. 3,300 square feet's a big house for Las Vegas. Most of the time, we, we, you know, 1,900 to 2,600 is about the average for homes out here, but um, this is an, a, considered a large home here in Vegas. So this is the lounge mm -hmm. slash loft. So this basically, what I always pitch to my clients is this gives you a chance to tell the kids they got to go upstairs while you guys hang out downstairs. This gives them their own space, which is really cool. Pretty 
pretty awesome, right? Yeah, it's pretty good size. Could, you could entertain a you could entertain a good group in here. <laughs> it's a it's like a bedroom. I mean, it's literally the size of, the size of a bedroom. The other thing to know when you walk through model homes is the doors are usually removed. So if you'll notice, there's no door here. Yep. Love this bedroom, by the way. You got the I don't know what that is, but that cow head or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> paneling is really in right now. Very popular. The wall texture is back. For whatever reason i am not a design mm -hmm. expert so i cannot tell you why or when it's going to go out but mm. i do think it's kind of cool another big closet yeah the walk-in closet's super popular for vegas you know uh, really anywhere but storage is a must man and people have got a lot of crap and they want to have a place <laughs> to put it so so when you're walking through models just know like i'm surprised that door is there but honestly mm. the doors coming to and from the rooms they want to make it feel as big as possible so they right. remove the doors does this come with its own bathroom Yes, it does. A little baby bathroom. Not really a baby. I was going to say, this is a pretty it good size around. bathroom. <laughs> Most homes in Vegas do not have a bathroom for every bedroom. It's typically a Jack and Jill bathroom um, for the spare bedrooms that are not the master. Mm -hmm. Jack and Jill meaning that they share. Look at the, First of all, look at that view. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a great bathroom view. <laughs> I could go pee in here and have, have a good time. <laughs> uh, and then the other thing is... Um, you know, the master is usually where all the good stuff goes. So when you're upgrading a home, especially if you're building a new one and you're trying to decide where do I spend my money? If I only have a certain budget, where should I put the upgrades for resale value? Master bath and kitchen are where it's at. Spend your money to make those the nicest they can possibly be and you'll have a good resale value. Another bedroom. These bedrooms are about standard size. They feel like maybe 11 by 11. Um, mm -hmm. they, they can range from 9 by 9 to 10 by 10, 11 by 11, 12 by 12. Like Those are kind of the standard sizes for Vegas. These builders with these larger homes uh -huh. are getting a little bit more free with the space, which is nice. Here's a Jack and Jill bathroom, like I was talking about. So this is where these two bedrooms right here, they share this bathroom. Gotcha. Jack and Jill. But just beautiful design. The builders have gotten really good about including standards with the house that are, are palatable. Before it used to be, oh, we're only going to include like the worst possible tile, so you're forced to upgrade. We're only going to include <laughs> the worst possible countertop, so you're forced to upgrade. Uh -huh. But they've really upgraded and, and they started offering some really nice stuff. So uh -huh. it gives people a chance to get in and not stress about overspending. Again, more wallpaper. Mm -hmm. But I love it. I love this room. Actually, this room matches my necklace. I just realized. <laughs> Great views. Yeah, you can see the mountains out in the back. <laughs> yeah, lots of lots of natural light in this house, which is, I think, super important. But it's also like Vegas. So if this wasn't an, an energy efficient home and super well insulated, they right. would probably have gotten rid of a few of these windows because Vegas, that heat comes in, you know. You oh, know yeah, <laughs> definitely. Standard closet. And then you've got like, you know, I don't know if you want to look in here. It's just a regular old pantry mm -hmm. linen, linen closet. Now, I'm excited because I'm going to take you to the master bedroom. This is my favorite room in the house, of course. <laughs> Some more storage here. This bad boy is like a dream, bohemian dream come true. Wow. And, you know, what I love about it the most is, you know, they really took the time to add some accents. Again, I said the master bed, master bath, and the kitchen are really where you want to spend your money. They added the accents to the ceiling. You know, they really are making it feel warm and, at home and cozy. And luxurious at the same time. I don't know how they're figuring that out. <laughs> My favorite part of this, though, is obviously you have a full patio on the back. No Just kidding. FYI, the patio may or may not be included. Um, I don't know. I think it might be locked. Yeah. I think they lock it for safety reasons. Sorry about that, Jacob. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so the patio might be an upgrade, and typically this type of patio, if it is required, or if, if you do have to do the upgrade, it's uh, anywhere from eighteen to 25000 sometimes more. Gotcha. Additional on the price. Check this bathroom out. You're going to get dizzy walking through here. <laughs> wow. Isn't that awesome? Wow. So another thing is, uh, oh, it's echoey in here. It These is. large, so normally what would be in this home is shower, bathtub. Uh -huh. um, but this home they decided to give it a little more space and show the party shower. I like to call that party shower. A lot more space. Yeah. That, that's like three people at least who fit in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a Las Vegas style shower. Yeah. And then, of course, um, 
I don't know why, but I had somebody recently ask me why do they separate the toilet from the rest of the bathroom? Mm -hmm. I was like, because you want privacy. Exactly. Like, I, don't know, I thought that was kind of a strange question. Beautiful big walk-in closets, very important in Vegas and very important for these upscale homes, the larger homes. People want to know that their stuff is nicely stored and, and put away. I'm going to just swipe these shoes while we're at it. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna also run into the door. So when I'm showing people homes, I really try to get them to see past the decor. Because the decor, obviously, I would move in here in a heartbeat. This place is exactly my style. The problem with that though is that you get so worked up looking, oh I love that, I love this, and then you go to like start choosing your own stuff and they go, oh there's three thousand dollars, there's another eight thousand dollars. So you got to be really careful and strip back the decor and just look at the bones of the house. Do you like the layout of the house? Do you like the way it flows? Do you like how it feels? Do you like how high the ceilings are? Stuff like that. My favorite part of any house is the laundry room. <laughs> okay. It's because I have four kids. That's Big old laundry room. Gonna say. Now for builders, they, they almost never include a washer dryer. If they do, you're lucky. Mm -hmm. The other thing is these upper cabinets are an add-on. They don't they almost never include them as an automatic, like we're gonna give you the cabinets. And then uh, the sink as well, which is down here, is a wet sink or mud sink, whatever they're called, those are never included. Um you have to add those on. So you know, it could be fifteen hundred dollars, you know, just right. to like keep that in mind. The process of buying a new home is unique because I'll just talk here if that's okay. It's unique because you know you walk in, you fall in love with the model, then you say I'm interested. They give you the base price. Then you set up, you know, you give your deposit, you're in contract, you go to the design center. It's so fun. Like it's one of the most extremely fun experiences I've ever had because I love picking out like tile and flooring and helping people. But you gotta be careful because they are salespeople at those design centers and they are designed and trained to help you upgrade the heck out of the house. So having your realtor with you is a really good idea so they can say, oh, I might want to slow your roll on that and I would definitely spend a little less on the flooring and all of that. The reality is, is the house has to appraise for the amount that it's valued at or it has to reach the value that you're paying uh, and if it exceeds, you got to pay out of pocket. So you want to make sure it doesn't exceed the appraised, possible appraised value unless you're ready to you know, pull out the dough and pay cash. But overall though, buying a new home is really important. Uh, it's a really cool and important process. One thing to remember, you can just walk into any builder and that's an easy thing to do. You don't need a realtor, but I always recommend that you use a realtor. It's kind of like having a lawyer. When you walk into the builder and you don't have representation, they basically own you and they can do whatever they want. So when you walk into a builder with, with someone representing you, not the builder, then you have someone who can negotiate on your behalf and really handle a lot of back and forth that you don't want to deal with. P.S. It's free to use a realtor when you buy a new home. They don't change the price. They can't legally discount the price if you don't use a realtor. It's all above board. So using a realtor when you're buying a new home is super important and you get a fun person to like bounce ideas off of for the design process. So that's my tour. So this, I'm sure you want to know the price, right? Yeah. All right, I gotta open it up. All right, so this house, 3,309 square feet, two story. One story is really hard to come by. Just be, be aware of that. Four bedrooms, three and a half bath with the lounge, three car garage, drum roll. 565, 925 base price, meaning that's with like standard features, that's with nothing upgraded at all, 565. Now, you go to the design center, wanna spend a little bit on flooring, wanna do some cooler cabinets, it's gonna add on top of that, of course. That price, PS, is only good now, it obviously is gonna maybe go up as the economy goes up, but it's still, it's probably gonna be around there. Cool. Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> you were great. Good. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you and send us a note. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to wrap it up here. It was the awesome home tour from the lovely Lacey at this house here in Henderson. So remember, you guys are looking to buy here in Henderson or Vegas, North Las Vegas, anywhere here in Clark County. Link is down below. You can get a hold of Lacey. She will help you through the process, okay? You guys have watched me for a long time. I appreciate it. But you need help in this area. She's the go-to person. She will take it from there. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you to Lacey. Hi. I'm Jacob. This is My Life in Vegas.